Contagion short video game review. Eight interchangeable survivor survivors have to deal with the growing zombie infection, even though the military weren't quite able to. They will fight to save other survivors. They will fight to get to safety. They will fight, you know, a few very determined zombies or they'll fight each other along with the zombies depending on the game mode. This is a Left 4 Dead clone and while not as good as Left 4 Dead and certainly too short on content for the same price as Left 4 Dead, it is a very fun alternative with a number of features and less streamlining than Left 4 Dead. In this you can actually become a zombie and you can be infected and when you die you're dead there's no coming back for you this has co-op for anywhere and, and multiplayer for anywhere between two players and 16 players and you can also play it completely single player although note that there are no bots and you have to make a lot of very you know, very much life or death decisions, very tactical decisions, such as what to carry in your four item slots, which, you know, they allow for carrying weapons, objective items, just, you know, healing items, melee weapons, and such. The only real limitation is you can't carry more than one melee weapon you can't exceed carrying capacity. You can only carry, for example, like one grenade. And you can't carry the same exact gun twice, but you can carry several different, for example, pistols. It also features SMGs, assault rifles, shotguns, snipers, and such. Basically, you're running around fighting off the zombies that really threaten to overrun you, and you're counting every bullet. These zombies you'd better be going for headshots because otherwise they can take a lot of bullets without actually going down. There are only seven levels and they're, they can be a bit too open and with a lot of dead ends to, you know, it can be confusing and generally the first hours that you play this, you're just going to be trying to figure out how to do things, how to find your way through the levels and such. And some are going to be too frustrated by that, as well as the very high difficulty and just, you know, elements that aren't going to appeal to everyone. I'm not saying that if you don't like it, you're not good enough to be playing it. But it does also offer a number of experiences that Left 4 Dead doesn't. And, yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's very tense. It has a solid post-apocalyptic atmosphere. Yeah, I would definitely say it's a fun alternative to Left 4 Dead. If you like this review and one more detailed one, the link will be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.